an unbelievable discovery under Yellowstone. Yellowstone eruption fears. There's a new magma body discovered, revealed under the supervolcano. It's a new secret. It's been discovered by radar examination. Yellowstone volcano computer modeling has helped scientists uncover secrets behind recent seismic activities of vast magma bodies under the huge supervolcano. It points towards the presence of a second untapped source of magma below Yellowstone's National Park. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. So it's not just the magma body that we know is a huge source of the heat and the geysers, the water washing over this hot magma body, but there's something tapped, trapped underneath. A team of scientists from the University of Oregon, UO, show us what's going on. It's an intense geological process several miles below, below the Yellowstone volcano mantle. According to the University of Oregon doctoral student Dylan Colon, at depths between 5 and 10 kilometers, that's between 3 and 6 miles, there is a cold, rigid rock giving way to hot material and scorching magma. They've done this with computer models that have indicated the presence of a second large magmatic body which has so far remained hidden to the uh, watchful researchers, the, the gazing of volcanologists, the studies that volcanologists have been doing of supervolcano. They found a second large body of magma. The startling findings published in the research paper recently in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, scientists have attempted for a long time to find out, to locate the huge magma chambers beneath Yellowstone, exactly where they are and how big they are. And this new study may finally point into the right direction. Ilya Bindman, professor of the University of Oregon's Department of Earth Sciences, who also was the co-author of this paper, said, the results of the modeling matches observations done by sending seismic waves through the area. This work appears to validate initial assumptions and it gives us more information about Yellowstone's magma locations. Yellowstone is perhaps the most infamous of the world's 20 rumbling supervolcanoes. The heated crust below Yellowstone's National Park is always being warmed up, softened by mixtures of magma from an anomaly known as the mantle plume. This anomaly in turn fuels the various and many hot springs and the powerful geysers of Yellowstone. And whenever these vast amounts of water wash over it, that's when we get the eruptions of the hot springs and the geysers. Yellowstone's gigantic caldera, as we know, erupted some 360,000, 630,000 years ago, and scientists believe that the supervolcano blows just about every 600,000 to 700,000 years. Many scientists fear the volcano is long overdue. It's like a ticking time bomb. But researchers have now distinguished Yellowstone's mid-crustal sill, and this separates the magma deep below the ground, which could help understand the volcano better. This mid-crustal sill is mostly comprised of solid rock, solidified rock formed from cooled magma, and it separates two bubbling bodies of red-hot molten rock. So this mid-crustal sill sits in between two bodies of red-hot magma. The upper body is characterized by gas-rich magma, and it occasionally erupts into the surface. And of course, this eruption dwarfs the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens that we saw recently. Research into these two magmatic structures began a few years ago in 2014. This was after scientists expected the vast amount of carbon dioxide and other volcanic gases venting from Yellowstone hinted at tapped magma source below. 
And uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Bidman said, we think that this structure is what caused the rhyolite basalt volcanism throughout the Yellowstone hotspot, and it includes supervolcanic eruptions. This is the nursery, a geological and petrological match with eruptive products. And she went on to add, our modeling helps to identify the geological structure or where the rhyolitic material is located. And Dr. Colin added, this research also helps explain some of the chemical signatures that are seen in the eruptive materials. We can also use it to explore how hot the mantle plume is by comparing models of different plumes to the actual situation at Yellowstone that we understand from the geological record. So that is a new finding, that it, there is a solid plume separating two huge underground molten uh, magma chambers, two, and there's a sill in between them. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.